Former WWE CEO Vince McMahon is now the focus of a federal criminal investigation. Move came a day after McMahon was accused of sexual assault and trafficking in a lawsuit. A former WWE employee, Janelle Grant, claims she was physically and emotionally abused by McMahon. A previous WWE investigation unearthed similar behavior by McMahon. January 25th, 2024. Disturbing allegations have surfaced against former WWE CEO Vince McMahon and ex-executive John Laurinaitis, with a lawsuit accusing them of trafficking. Additionally, WWE faces legal action for negligence in the matter. While the details are graphic and potentially triggering, it is important to remember these are accusations, not proven facts. However, the severity of the claims could lead to significant consequences for McMahon. The lawsuit against Vince McMahon, John Laurinaitis, and WWE paints a disturbing picture of alleged abuse and exploitation, extending far beyond a simple NDA breach. Miss Grant's harrowing claims detail instances of coercion, physical and sexual assault, leaving her with deep emotional scars and physical distress. But the alleged wrongdoing doesn't stop there. World Wrestling Entertainment boss Vince McMahon is facing a salacious new lawsuit from her WWE staffer. Janelle Grant claims McMahon promised her a job and promotions in exchange for The lawsuit further accuses WWE executives and employees of complicity, their silence a dark stain on the organization. The coercion, according to the lawsuit, wasn't just verbal pressure. It allegedly manifested in physical and sexual assault, creating an environment of fear and intimidation. Miss Grant claims this abuse caused significant emotional distress, leaving her traumatized and unable to function normally. The physical manifestations of this distress are also mentioned, adding another layer of pain to her ordeal. The alleged inaction of the WWE personnel adds another layer of culpability. The lawsuit claims that executives and employees were aware of the mistreatment Miss Grant endured, yet they failed to take appropriate action. This inaction, if proven true, could be construed as condoning or even enabling the alleged abuse. It raises serious questions about the culture and accountability within the WWE. The ramifications of this lawsuit go beyond Miss Grant's personal case. It shines a spotlight on the potential power imbalances and abuse within the wrestling industry, and challenges the silence that often surrounds such allegations. If the court finds merit in the claims, it could set a precedent for future cases and force a reckoning within the WWE and other organizations grappling with similar issues. Miss Grant, stepping into the spotlight, accused Mr. McMahon of striking a non-disclosure agreement, NDA, in exchange for her silence about the alleged relationship and refraining from public criticism. Grant says McMahon pressured her into signing a non-disclosure agreement in exchange for hush payments totaling $3 million. This $3 million hush pact, initiated in 2002, was allegedly just the tip of the iceberg. An anonymous tip triggered an internal WWE investigation, exposing a pattern of financial settlements made by Mr. McMahon to other women. Now, Miss Grant fights back. Her lawsuit challenges the very foundation of the NDA, aiming to shatter its constraints and claim rightful compensation. While NDAs often wield legal teeth, Miss Grant argues her agreement was forged under undue pressure, lacking independent legal counsel and potentially violating the Speak Out Act. This federal shield empowers individuals to speak out against sexual assault and harassment, potentially rendering restrictive NDAs unenforceable in such circumstances. But the battle lines are drawn. Breaching an NDA can lead to legal repercussions, and the outcome hinges on the validity of Mrs. Grant's claims. Did coercion taint the agreement? Was she deprived of fair legal counsel? Did the alleged relationship fall under the Speak Out Act's protective umbrella? Only time and the courts will reveal if this NDA will crumble or continue to shroud the truth in silence. This is not just a legal battle, it's a power struggle. 
Miss Grant's case stands as a beacon of hope for others potentially silenced by similar agreements. The Speak Out Act adds a layer of complexity, potentially shifting the power balance in favor of those silenced. The verdict will not only impact Miss Grant, but could also set a precedent for future cases, influencing the way power dynamics and silence are addressed in the wake of alleged sexual misconduct. The complaint includes numerous instances of coerced behavior by Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis, some of which are too explicit to describe here. According to the Wall Street Journal, one incident alleges that McMahon and another WWE executive locked Miss Grant in an office at WWE headquarters on June 15, 2021, and sexually assaulted her while other staff were present. Another incident, on June 23, 2021, describes McMahon locking Grant in his private locker room and forcing himself upon her on a massage table. The complaint also mentions explicit text messages and McMahon allegedly sharing explicit images and videos of Grant with WWE employees, including unnamed executives and stars. The complaint claims that Miss Grant was unable to freely consent to the sexual encounters due to undue influence and manipulation. It alleges that McMahon and Laura Natus, aware of her precarious financial and emotional situation, used their professional positions to coerce her into compliance. The complaint further escalates by alleging that McMahon sought to weaponize Miss Grant's vulnerability for corporate gain. It details attempts to use her in an extramarital affair with a prominent wrestler, heavily implied to be Brock Lesnar as leverage to secure a lucrative new contract for WWE. This alleged proposition not only paints a grim picture of exploitative power dynamics, but also raises ethical concerns about using personal relationships for business advantage. Beyond the ethical implications, prior to his resignation as executive chairman just last January 26, 2024, McMahon's presence on the TKO Holdings Board casted a long shadow. Vince McMahon, the infamous founder of World Wrestling Entertainment, has resigned as executive chairman of its parent company. A federal investigation loomed large, raising questions about potential liability for the company in light of those allegations. The precarious situation forced TKO Holdings into a difficult position navigating legal and reputational risks while attempting to protect its future. Remember, these are just allegations, and due process should prevail. However, their seriousness cannot be dismissed, and their potential impact on both individuals and corporate entities deserves due consideration. The shadow of potential criminal charges hangs heavy over McMahon, should the allegations hold weight. The nature of the charges and jurisdiction will depend on the specific details and decisions of prosecutors, but both state and federal avenues exist. However, it's crucial to remember that the threshold for conviction in criminal cases is significantly higher than in civil suits. While McMahon firmly denies the claims, the possibility of criminal charges underscores the gravity of the situation. The mere existence of a federal investigation further amplifies the pressure. Beyond the personal consequences for McMahon, the lawsuit casts a wide net, ensnaring WWE in allegations of negligence. The crux of the complaint lies in the alleged inaction of WWE executives, despite their awareness of McMahon's conduct. Should this be proven, it could expose the company to significant financial liabilities through damage awards. Recent attempts by WWE to deflect attention towards accounting irregularities related to hush money payments add another layer of complexity. This history could paint a picture of a company willing to prioritize self-preservation over addressing potential misconduct, potentially exacerbating the public's perception and investor confidence. All of these have been made public due to a lawsuit filed by Janelle Grant on January 25, 2024, and back in August 2, 2023. Regarding the federal investigation, Vince McMahon provides the comment, I have always denied any intentional wrongdoing and continue to do so. I am confident that the government's investigation will be resolved without any findings of wrongdoing. 
WWE says the company believes the subpoena and search warrant are a continuation of the investigation that commenced last summer. WWE has cooperated throughout and fully understands and respects the government's need for a complete process. A day after, Vince McMahon resigns, according to an all-staff email from WWE President Nick Khan. Khan writes, to inform you that Vince McMahon has tendered his resignation from his positions as TKO Executive Chairman and on the TKO Board of Directors. He will no longer have a role with TKO Group Holdings or WWE. Mr. Laurinaitis, though, denies the allegations and will be vigorously defending these charges in court, not the media. The situation surrounding these allegations remains fluid, with the potential for further development the situation surrounding these allegations remains fluid, with the potential for further developments always present. It's vital to acknowledge this fluidity and approach the claims with a measured hand. Refraining from definitive judgments until the legal process unfolds allows for a more responsible and nuanced understanding.